Hello everyone, my name is Juan and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to show you how to do synthetic division. Synthetic division is just taking a polynomial and dividing it by x minus c, where c is just any number. For our example, we're going to divide this polynomial by x minus 3. First, we have to pick the number that would make our denominator equal to 0. So if x is equal to 3, 3 minus 3 would be equal to 0. Therefore, we're going to write 3 here, and we're just going to do this little symbol. That's just fancy terms of saying, take this number and take the opposite number, and that's going to be your number. So the opposite of negative 3 would be 3. If this was positive 3, it would be negative 3 in here, because it would be the opposite number. Next, we're going to take all the coefficients of our polynomial, and we're going to write them down. Ah, ah. Next, we're going to take all the coefficients of our polynomial and we're going to write them down. So we have uh, 2, which goes with x cubed, and we're going to go x cubed, x squared, blah, 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 blah. So 2, then negative 3, then negative 8, and then 2. If we didn't have a number for any position, say this negative 3x squared didn't exist for a second, uh, we would still write a 0 in that position. We're gonna draw a line here. Next, we have to bring our first number down. We just bring this negative two, so we put it in here. Then we take this number and we multiply it by our constant. So we take this number and we're gonna multiply it by three. So we get six in here. Then we just add those numbers together. So six minus three is three. And we repeat the same step. So we multiply this number by our constant number so 3 times 3 is 9 and then negative 8 plus 9 is positive 1 and we multiply again so 1 times 3 is 3 and we add those numbers together so 2 plus 3 is 5 and now we're done so watch this last number is going to be our remainder and this three numbers are going to be our coefficients Finally, we have to rewrite those coefficients. We have to remember that our answer polynomial will have one degree less than our original polynomial. So the answer will be two x squared because this was x cubed. So now it's gonna be x squared plus three x plus one. And this five in the remainder, we're gonna write it as plus five divided by x minus three. So this polynomial took this two and divided it, took this three and divided it, and took this eight and divided it. But when it came to this positive two, it wasn't able to divide it. So when it did all the division process, and we ended up with this five divided by x minus three. But this just simply didn't take place. And this is what we're gonna call our answers. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If this was helpful to you, and this is something you had a test on or something like that, please don't forget to tell all your friends about it and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in my next week's video. Bye. Don't worry.